give thanks and praise unto the most high you know love god and live and live to love god ever slick ever slick ever slick Yes, my people, there you again, man. You don't know, you know. Mm. Ever slick from ever slick creation. This time around, we are dealing with sugar. Sight. When I and I say sugar, I don't mean the literally great. Seeing? I and I talk about diabetes, brother. Yeah, man. To have our sisters and brothers. Weak, you know, a big for life and can't make it. Diabetes, brother. Very easy and simple, man. Get, get this thing out of your system. Yeah, man. First and foremost, I must say, you know, give you it in a patwa. So what I mean I say, it's a person who have diabetes. Start with you, you, you. Yeah, man. Person who have diabetes, start with you. It's what you eat and what you drink. So I mean I say, the body heals itself, but if you don't give the body the, your, your body the chance to heal itself, it's not going to heal. You know what I mean? If you can't sleep, your body can't heal. Because the only time your body heal, it's when you sleep. Alright. If you notice behind me, there are a lot of um, trees, uh, breezes blowing. Bird making nice, yeah, that's mad. Yeah, first thing in life, love mother nature. See, everything come after. Because guess what? Mother nature is God, and God is love. And that is all we need. So I'm say, so right now, I'm going to put the item on a chalk, show the item. One month and you reverse any diabetes. From stage how much to stage how much. Don't really matter. Get that thing out of your system. So I may say, that thing is like a plague. See? So guess what? I'm going to wrap it up fast and quick and make you know what's going on with people. Very easy, man. Watch this. We are get right in it now, you know. See it here? Yeah? First thing first. Mm. You have to do a detox. Yeah, man. You have to do a detox. You know why you have to do a detox? Because your body clog up. So I mean I say, worse if you take medication, your body clog up, brother. My sister, your body clog up. You know what I mean? I'm say clog up, clog up. Yeah, because you are eat and same time you drink, your body clog up. You know, you eat and then you drink. About half an hour after you can drink after you eat. All right, right tonight now. First thing first, you do a detox. Yeah, man. And you say right now to do a detox, very easy and simple. You can just search your kitchen, you find all those ingredients. You do a detox for seven days or 14 days, and you're good to go. All right, first item on the block. Yeah, you're going to get um, garlic. As what we would say, garlic. You know, as a countryman, come here, countryman, you know, garlic. Sight? Yeah, get a little sorosy. Yeah, all right. You will get now four tablespoon of busy. You know, busy. You are great at the something there. The tough something there. You are great at it. Busy. Four tablespoon of that. All right. You will get some hollows. We call it single Bible. Yeah. Put them into a pot and you go boil them. After it boil. Make it cool. Throw it off. You drink a cup every night you go to your bed. Saying, you drink it for seven days. If you want to detox more, you can drink it for 14 days. But normally we start on a seven day period. Sight? Sight. So after you do that now, you know, you clean the system. All right. Anytime you start to do that detox, drinking that um, first cup, try to, to um, check your feeling. If you have a good feeling or a bad feeling, you know? 
see if it change your 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 feelings yeah so you know if you have some other problem like you have high blood pressure you know you have to check it very regular make sure it's good to go you know your diabetes you have to check it all the time because if you drink the um detox and it's going to go against your medication or your medical issue it's going to cause a problem so each time you drink a cup you try to look back in yourself make sure your you, you, you feeling is good you understand well if you drink a cup your feeling is not good you try to drink half a cup yeah you drink it for seven days after the seven days up you're going to go on the type of food you eat you understand to get rid of those sugar grains those you know what i mean yeah if you're taking medication when doing this um detox and started to eat the right and proper food you're supposed to eat and drink all those smoothies if you are taking medication skip one day if you take medication today you don't take it tomorrow and you test your blood level make sure it is uh, okay if it is going if it is normal or it is going down you skip two day of the medication so if you take today two day in front you don't take any you understand and you continue until you stop take the medication but you have to check your blood level make sure it is normal it is getting normal or it is getting down once it, it is getting down, you, you, you're in a good formation. Alright? So listen up. If you're taking medication when doing the detox, yeah, you're going to take medication every other day. If your blood level is getting normal, it's going down, you're going to skip two days until you skip three days of the medication. Until you come off it completely and stop taking it. You understand? And you continue to eat the right food you're supposed to eat. Drink the right smoothies, the right drinks that you're supposed to. In the time, in the seven days that you're going to do a detox, you have to watch what you eat and what you drink. Alright? So, all those uh, soda, those dumplings, those rice, you have to put it aside. Alright? Yeah. You have to um you have to drink a lot of juice um that you made smoothies uh you need a lot of jelly waters you need you need a, a lot of water but not the water from the pipe or else you boil it you need we filtered water or bottled water you understand yeah man, in the description I have two more video posts there. One is how to make sea mass gel and burdock root and sea mass tea. Alright, very powerful. Check it out. And my people, remember, if you want to go vital, you have to go vital. Sight, sight. This part of the video now is very important. Lignum vitae, lignum vitae, lignum vitae, if you don't know it, get someone to show you the, the, the plant, the lignum vitae tree, yeah, you're gonna take off the bark, use the machete and cut it, chop the bark, cut it down to get off the skin of the bark, quail it with some of the leaf, you're gonna use it, you, you're gonna boil it. Put it into a pot, throw the water into it, put a lot of water into it. Once it starts to boil up, turn off the stove and let it cool. You're going to drink that for water. Throughout the day you need water to drink, you're going to drink that. The lignum vitae. Very, very important. That is the most best part of it. The lignum vitae. Alright? Cut the skin, get the bark off the tree, the skin. Quail it and dry it. Put it into a pot. I don't mean tie rope and dry it, you know. 
I mean, you put it into a pot full of pot of water when it starts to boil, it will turn off the stove. Cover it and let it stay for until cool. After it cool, you buckle it and you drink that as water. Don't put it on the fridge. Right. And remember, was sour to the heart, sweet to the belly. Alright? So now tell me say no taste good or no smell good or whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And you how the parable go? I could have the other way around, but me tell you something. Lignum vitae. Alright? Alright. Once you start your detoxification, there are some measures you have to follow. Alright? Yeah, first thing first is the tea that you drink. Alright. Right through the whole process you have to drink um there are some special tea you have to drink. This one is a very special tea that you can drink in that period. Okay. Neem. That is the neem, the limb, the tree. The limb from the neem tree with the leaf and everything, the trunk here. You quail it, then you can boil it with turmeric. We all know turmeric, yeah? Sweeten it with honey. That's your tea. Alright? So you continue to drink the tea for the whole process. And yeah man, with the right now the juice part, you know. This is the time when you juice, alright? You're gonna make your juice now. Because guess what? You don't want no sugar and water. You don't want no sugar and lime. You don't want no soda. Sight? You don't want none of them things there. So here how you're gonna make your drinks now. Alright. You have a thing called hash guard. You know that? It's a little thing like melon. Yeah, it it's um think it um um whitish outside. Yeah. That little thing it look like melon but um it it, it grow with some hash on it. That's the reason why they call it hash guard. Something like that. Right. Um A S H G O U R D. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're gonna blend it and, and sweeten it with honey. That is a juice you can drink. Very powerful. Alright, you have a next you have a next blend. You can also blend papa papaya with ripe banana. And you can also put honey in it. That is the next powerful you can add it add peanut to it add peanut peanut is very powerful add peanut with it you can blend it blend the papaya and the banana and then throw the raw peanut into it then you can just eat it just like that very powerful here is the next juice now that um go to your membrane this work on your membrane when i say your membrane i mean the inside of your all of your organs and if all of your organs is working properly you, you, you're good you're healthy you're a healthy person so this one work on your membrane all right all right here goes coconut milk you're great at the coconut juice it get the milk out all right don't put too much water in it now yeah sea mass irish mash yeah sea mass that little creamish color one looking one yeah that's it you soak it overnight after you soak it overnight throw off the water yeah you boil some hot water throw on it leave it for about 10 minutes to soak again so that water gonna come warm with the sea mass throw it into the blender peel banana ripe banana put into it honey your nutmeg vanilla almond and your blend that is the next smoothie very powerful yeah you walk down the whole yard seeing you know bother with feet and inches again you're gonna yard till you start to go miles that's energy i go right now the food was going right into the food part you know but changed my mind Go and touch the fruit, you know, because there's a lot of fruit that is, is um, alkaline and there's a lot of fruit that is acidic. You understand? 
Yeah, just like the food, there's a lot of food that acidic, starch, you know, alkaline, organic. Yeah, so right now, we're in the food part of the food world. Number one fruit when it comes to diabetes. Sugar, not greens, diabetes, yeah. Number one fruit, watermelon. Make sure you have that pack up enough. Yeah, cut, cut it daily. Buy it by, by the, the whole light. I buy no pound. I buy no pound or no piece or no, you know. Buy one whole one or two whole one. Make sure the melon before you bite the stem black. If the stem don't black, that means that the melon don't fit before it pick. Alright? So yes, my people, see it now. Watermelon. Make sure you eat a lot of watermelon. You can juice watermelon with pine and ginger. Very good. But make sure you eat a lot of melon. Watermelon. Alright? Yeah. Coconut water. Drink a lot of coconut water. Eat the meat. Very good. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. You have um, pine. That is pineapple. You have orange. Make sure you eat a lot of orange. Pear. Yeah. Grape. Strawberry. Cherry. Papaya. You have um, grapefruit. Plum. Lime. Blueberry. You name it. Yeah. You can eat all those fruit. But the number one fruit is watermelon. Make sure you have a lot of watermelon in your system watermelon make sure you have a lot of watermelon in your system that is the man that run that guy out of your blood all right not those grains you know not those grains i mean diabetes out of your blood watermelon purify right Purification. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. With the right now, the food part, you know. You know, the serious part, this with the right now, the food part. Sight? Sight. Yeah, man. It's your, your soup, you know. Yeah. But I tell me, say, you don't know, like soup. You, you love fry fry, but you don't know, like soup. Soup are the best thing for you, you hear, man? Alright. Remember now, don't try to drink anything cold. Room temperature. That's the best thing for your body. Alright? So we're going to go right in the food, you know. See? Alright, you're going to boil some soup, you know. And it's going to boil a pot of soup, yeah. Yeah. Have a list here, a long list. You don't have to boil, cook everything one time in this soup. You know? But the amount of things here, you can more than cook. Alright? Alright. First thing first. Coconut milk. Yeah, blend the coconut juice it. This time you're going to cook so you can throw a lot of water on it because you're going to cook. Alright? Yeah. After you put on that in on the stove, throw, the, throw in the coconut milk, you put it in your sea mass. At that time you don't have to soak it. Once it wash and clean up, it's good to go throw it in your soup. Sea mass. Irish mash? Yeah. Okay now. To make the soup, you can use turnip, onion, cucumber, eggplant, kale, string bean, bell peppers, the red, the green and the yellow. Alright? Broccoli. Make sure you put hot pepper in the too. Yeah. Need a little spice tonight. You understand? Alright. Yeah. Cabbage. Callaloo. Pop chow. Yeah, let's cut a little into it. Alright? Yeah, carrot. Make sure you have in a carrot. Alright. Yeah. Cauliflower. Cauliflower? Yeah. As a countryman, I saw me call it. If I not pronounce anything good, I don't know what I mean. Alright? Yes. Peas. You know peas. Alright. Beans. You know beans. Yeah? Alright. Pumpkin. Number one vegetable that is not a food, you know. That is not food, you know. Yeah, some people think pumpkin is food. Pumpkin is not food. Pumpkin is 
vegetable. Swami I say? Alright. Yeah. Tomato. Now tell me say I throw a soup you know put in tomato tonight. Tomato. Alright? Banana. No put in too much banana in it, no, but put in banana in it. You don't put in the mole in it. After you put the banana, you broke it. If it's big, you broke it in about four. Yeah, get it small. All right. Chocho. One next number one fruit. That. Chocho. Yeah. If you want to you know chocho good, you blend it raw and juice it and drink it with pumpkin. Raw pumpkin, see me. Just a little piece of chocho, a little piece of pumpkin, and you blend it. Juice it and drink that. You know what? Oh, make your healthy man and strong. All right. Yeah, breadfruit are the last one. So you drop your piece of breadfruit tonight if you have it. So you see all those things, you can make soup out of all those things. You don't have to use all of them, I mean, one time, you know. You know what I mean? You use a little of this at this time, and next time you use a little of that. You understand? You know, the countryman has well, a countryman that say, the like this, the like that, and we're gone. You know? Yeah. So that's so the thing said. And you boil some soup. You can you get up in the morning and you boil some soup. You have it for drink for the whole day. Yeah, you know. Now tell me, say, you know, I go drink no soup for the whole day. You know? That go feel away. You want rice and peas and chicken. I eat kill me. Because I then set with a fin. You rice and peas and chicken. Let me go and eat straight. Yeah. Liquor and the food and the drinks. Them are pies away and we sit down and yam up this whole pot of food and drink up this whole pot of dirty liquor and this whole pot of dirty drinks like they kill we. Yeah. So yes my people, I run back through the food item them again all door. It go in the description. Description? Yeah, it go in the description. So anytime you watch the video and you want to know what the, the ingredients, you check down in the description. Alright. Coconut milk are the first one. Yeah. Sea mass. Turnip, onion, cucumber, eggplant, kale, string bean, bell peppers, red, green, and yellow. You have broccoli, you have hot pepper, callaloo, you have cabbage, pap chow. Just need a little into it. You, you understand? Carrot, cauliflower, pea, bean, peas, yeah, pumpkin, tomato, banana, green banana, yeah, cho cho, and breadfruit. You can use all those things to boil soup. When you want to get rid of that guy them call grains, I mean sugar, I mean diabetes. Very easy and simple. It's what you eat. Yeah man. It's what we eat. It's what we drink. Give us diabetes. Alright my people. Simple and easy. So to erase or to reverse diabetes in one month, very easy and simple. You come off all those junks, eat some organic food, drink some organic juice, smoothies, and you're good to go. You know? You drink and eat the right food at the right time. And you will be healthy. Sight. This is Everslick from Everslick Creation and I must say please remember to like and to share and to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell BAM! BAM! Ready Alright Peace, I'm out and thanks for watching, alright? Cut some spoon, you know? Yeah. Then me bust it in a two aya. Yeah. Eat up the meat, you know? Good for the soul and body. So what I say? Yeah.
Yo, me eat my afternoon gel, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna drink the water. So make sure that you drink your one. Side. Side. 